Welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, my name is Caroline from Caroline Inspired and this is my first video I have done for my YouTube channel. This is um, my little pug Bert. Say hello. So this um, flow that we're going to do is perfect the first thing in the morning when you first wake up. Now, when we are asleep, we build up a lot of uh, tension and tightness from being still for such a long period of time. So it's really important that you make sure that you're gentle to yourself first thing in the morning. Uh, be mindful of that. Our flexibility is reduced, so we don't want to go pushing really hard into these poses that we're going to do. It's a gentle way to warm up your mind, warm up your body as well. Um, when we... Uh, this is little bit, this is my little bug. He likes to join us for yoga too. He's a yoga bug. Um, so yeah, so like I said, so in yoga we want to make sure that we're kind and caring towards our bodies, don't push through any pain, and try and let go of our ego when we do these different poses. It's not about how expressive they can be or the fanciest of poses. It's just how they feel in your body. Yoga's how things feel, how it feels, not about how it looks. So don't worry if you can't fully get into the poses or if your practice isn't like mine. This is for you and giving back to your body. Um, so when we uh, practice yoga, we focus a lot on the breath. So while we're doing our practice, I really want you to focus on deep inhalations and deep exhalations, really grounding ourselves with the breath as well. So we're going to begin our practice by lying down onto the mat. So we're going to start off by focusing on our breath. Lowering yourself down here, tucking your tailbone, so getting rid of this arch in the lower back here. Placing one hand onto the belly, one hand onto the chest. I'm just closing down the eyes here for a moment. Begin breathing in and out through your nose. Starting to ground yourself into the present moment. Onto the mat. There's nowhere else you need to be. There's nothing else you need to do. This is your time to give back to yourself, mind, body, and soul. And as you breathe in through your nose, push your hand away with your belly. Feel the belly rise on the inhale. And fall on the exhale. Inhale to the belly, send the breath to the ribs, to the chest, and exhale, release. And then just slowly start to open up the hands. Bring your knees in towards your chest, take your hands around the knees, and give yourself a big squeeze here. And then just releasing the head back down, taking your hands around the backs of the legs and just walking up and down the spine, giving your spine a little massage here. And then rolling up and coming into an all fours position here, so a tabletop position. Knees in line with your hips, it's been like wrists in line with your elbows, elbows in line with your shoulders. Knees need to be hip distance apart and hands need to be shoulder distance apart. Anytime we have any connection with the mat, we want to be spreading through our fingers. Where the belly button in towards the spine, your Udi and Abandra lock here. So join your chin towards your chest, rounding through the upper back, feel the stretch through the back of the shoulders. So your cat pose. And then drawing the belly down to the floor. Inhale as you lift the chest, arch the knees up towards the sky. It's our cow pose. And then coming back into cat, chin to chest, push away from the floor. Inhale. And exhale. Back to a neutral spine. And take the right leg back behind the seat. Lower the right heel down towards the floor. Begin to stretch through the back of the car, keeping your belly button forward towards the spine. You're know, collapsing into the lower back, keep it lifted. And then option here to bring the left foot out to the side, bringing the right foot onto the floor, reaching the right arm up, 
find a lift and length through the side of your body here across the chest inhale and then exhale releasing your hand back down onto the floor bring the knee back in line coming into it on the left side now so draw the left foot back being the stretch here Feel it through the back of your heart, uh, through the back of your leg, you And then coming into the stretch on the opposite side, if it feels right for you, swing the right foot to the side, coming over onto the left foot, chin to the right hand, and reach in the left arm, finding length through the left side body, waking up your body here, and then lowering the left hand down onto the floor. Okay, so from here, we're going to come into um, a child's pose. So feet going to come together, knees coming out to the side of the mat and sitting back onto your heels. Don't worry if you can't make it all the way down to the heels, place a pillow underneath to support you here. So melting ourselves down in this direction and then reaching our arms out in front of you. Melt the chest down to the floor, relax the forehead, reach through the arms. So finding length here through your spine, Opening up into your hips. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Coming all the way back up to your tabletop position. Adjust yourself so all your joints are set. Reaching the right arm out in front of you, belly button forward in towards the spine. And from here, we're going to draw the left leg back. If this doesn't feel right for you, you can just bring the knee back down. So lengthening here through the hand down towards the back foot. Flexing the foot so it's coming down towards the floor. Option to stay here or if it's right for you in this moment, reach around to grab onto the back foot. Lift and squeeze the boots, opening up through your chest. And then release the hand back down onto the mat, knee comes back down. Bring it to on the opposite side now. So reaching the left arm out, finding that length here, and then drawing the right leg back, squeeze the glute foot flexed. Option to stay here, or to reach round to grab onto the opposite foot. Open through your chest, push into the fingers. Inhale. And exhale, slowly releasing it all the way back down to the foot. Dropping the hips out from side to side. And then you're going to lie down on your back. Laying yourself down here. Okay. So you're going to lower the left leg down to the floor, bringing the right knee in towards the chest, flexing your foot. Flexing both feet to protect the knee joint. Hugging the knee in towards the chest. Don't worry if it doesn't make it there. And taking the left hand over the right leg, pulling your right leg across your body, bringing your hips so they're in the center and reaching the right arm out to the side. Don't worry if your knee doesn't make it to the floor, you can support it with a pillow. Just want to make sure the shoulder comes down and we can open up here. And the stretch through the shoulder, through the chest, through the glutes and the IT band, opening through the uh, the twist through the spine. And then slowly bringing the leg all the way back to the center, squeezing it in towards your chest. And then lowering it all the way down to the floor. Adjusting the hips so they're in the center. Coming into that on the left side now. So bringing your left knee towards your chest. Hook your knee in. Flexing both feet to protect your knee joints. And taking the right hand over the left knee, pulling your leg across the body, and then reaching the left arm out to the side, opening through the chest, through the shoulder. And then bring your knee back to the centre, hook your knee in towards your chest. 
and then the leaves and your leg down to the floor. Taking a moment, checking with how you're feeling. And then bring your knees towards your chest, take your hands around the back of the thighs, dropping it up and down again through the spine. Get some momentum going. And then coming all the way up. We're going to sit, cross legs here. We're going to send our left foot underneath, taking the right leg over the top. Coming up in a seated twist here. And okay. So we've got two options. You can take the, the twist over to the side, stretch here, opening through your chest. Now in any of these poses, we always want to find a neutral spine. No collapsing into the lower back, keep yourself lifted. Or option to take the left hand around the right knee, bringing the right hand behind and opening through the chest. Option as well to bring the left elbow to the outside, the right knee, if it feels right. Inhale. And exhale. And then swapping legs now. So bringing your right leg underneath the left, left comes over the top. Find the length option to take the stretch out to the right side. Or coming over into it again like we did before, bringing the right arm over the knee, opening through the chest, or option to take the elbow on the outside of the left leg. Inhale. And exhale. your knees out to the side and just draw your chin down towards your chest in a stretch through the back of your neck. We hold a lot of stress through our neck, through our head. So just taking the moment here just to release some of that tension. Option to take the hands around the back of the head. It's going to draw your elbows a little bit towards the knees. Don't worry if you don't make it there. Being on the stretch through the back of your shoulders and down your spine. And then just slowly releasing the head all the way back up. Drawing the hands behind and inhale, lift your chest. And exhale, release. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, bring your hands to prayer at heart centre. Just closing down your eyes. Just checking in with how you're feeling now compared to the beginning of the practice. Giving back love to yourself. Love into your beautiful body. And everything stems from love. Your hands to your lips, to your throat chakra. Here we remind ourselves to speak our truth, owning our words with love and kindness to others and to ourselves. Your hands to your third eye chakra. Letting go of anything that no longer serves you, that no longer brings you joy, and simply come into a state of surrender listening to where you are guided and how you want to feel in this area. Your hands to prayer at your heart centre. Namaste. Thank you very much everybody. I hope you are all feeling good after that stretch. Like I said, to get the maximum benefits, try and do this daily. Don't be harsh on yourself if you miss a few days, just come back to your mat on the following day. Um, so that's very similar to my morning routine on the mat, and then what I do is then I meditate after. Yoga is the practice that prepares our body for stillness in meditation. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please comment below to let me know what you thought of it. Uh, any ideas for um, other videos that you'd like me to do. Okay, thank you very much and have a lovely day.